Yeah, and I suppose the, the question is asking, do you feel you're creating an elite group of people? Definitely not. If a person followed my teachings, they would never believe themselves to be elite. They will always believe themselves to be a part of humanity and a brother and sister of any other person who's on the earth. They would also have more compassion for other people because they'd realise what they themselves have had to go, go through in order to, be, to become better people. Mm -hmm. So when you've had to personally go through traumatic, painful experiences in order to become a better person, you are usually much more humble about other people and the traumatic experiences they face in order to become a better person. You don't judge them, you judge them far less than you would have before then. So my suggestion is that if anybody who's coming to my teachings are, are judging other people, then they are definitely not in harmony with my teachings. Mm. They're definitely not in harmony with the reception of God's love. They're definitely never going to become at one with God in that state. Mm. Mm. So are you saying that if they believe they are better than other people, who, whether they're coming to the seminars also or people in society, then they're in... They are already more unloving than yes. the average person. Yes. If they believe themselves to be better than the average person and to be more worthy than the average person, then they themselves are already in a worse condition of love than the average person. Mm -hmm. Their judgment is causing them to be in such a condition. Judgment is a huge problem in religion, in, in, in all, sorts of, all sorts of ways of life, but particularly in religious practice on this planet. Because what happens for most people who learn a certain type of religious practice is they start judging all the other people who don't practice it. A person who truly practices the principles of divine truth that I've taught for 2,000 years will never fall into that trap. I've stated over and over, both in the first century and in this life, that anybody who judges another, and remember judgment is an emotion projected towards the other person that they are less than or more unworthy that, or, than yourself. Anybody who has that particular emotion towards another person is already severely out of harmony with love. Mm -hmm. And as I said in the first century, it would be better if a noose was tied around their neck and they threw themselves into the sea than undertook such a decision to judge another person because that's what's happening to their soul. Their soul is severely degrading in its condition as they judge. A person who's truly practicing the principles that I teach will not judge another. They will support others in their choices and decisions, but they will speak the truth they will be loving under all circumstances. They will often remove themselves from people who are attacking them, and that is fine. That's not a judgment, that's just a feeling of love towards oneself. Mm -hmm. And a true person who is practicing these principles will not feel themselves to be better than any other person on this planet. I don't feel myself to be better than any other person on this planet. One of the main reasons why people get all shocked when they hear me say that I'm Jesus is because they believe I'm saying that I'm better than them. I am not saying that at all. I'm saying I am Jesus, but I am not better than you. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, darling.